today, we're going to be talking about the best apps to use on your Surface Duo. Let's get started right away. If you do like to read books or if you ever you know just want to go ahead and have some time and pick up a good book you can go ahead and go over to the kindle app of course this is from amazon and honestly this is absolutely amazing because you guys you guys can see right here it is only on one screen if i go ahead and slide up a little bit i can actually put this on both screens and tell me this does not look kind of like a normal book now the cool thing is even though this is very small it's not a big deal it's still a big deal to me personally because because of the fact they added the ability to have animations look at that animations do you guys see how it actually looks like you know you're turning a page it's so so little and it's not that big of a deal but I don't know it's just such a cool concept to me when I first saw this I was like wait time out this looks actually like I'm turning a page in a book and to be honest I like reading like this I had no issue reading off this device I've read a couple books on this device so far and honestly it got me more into reading anyway because of the fact that it's so easy to hold it's so easy to use I mean you go ahead and you know turn it like this and now you got yourself a little you know booklet right in front of you again not only that you can also uh, listen to uh, audible books off this obviously you can do that on any phone but it is nice to go ahead and have two screens while you're listening to it you can have it on one screen other screen be doing other things whatever the case it is a nice little feature to have so reading is definitely an amazing amazing feature on this device next thing i want to talk about is going to go ahead and be xbox game pass so we talked about this in a separate video but honestly i absolutely love um game pass on this device in a way, I feel like Game Pass was meant for this device. Just the dual screens, being able to run games full screen, or if you want to, run it in tent mode uh, is absolutely amazing. You're just able to go ahead and bam, you know, see your screen, have your control ready to go, start playing whatever game you want to play. Game Pass, definitely, I will say Xbox or Microsoft did a good job giving a lot of different games for game pass uh they definitely did not make it so it's like oh there's a small library there's a huge library for game pass and it lets you be able to actually go ahead and um play a lot of different games so it's not just one or two it is a whole bunch of them and you can keep downloading more and more and just adding to your inventory um and you can play now i know the question is going to be who care like why don't you just get an xbox and play xbox on your xbox no big deal well it's also the convenience factor i mean i know personally speaking recently it's been 100 degrees outside so i spent a lot of time in my basement and in my basement you know i don't have my xbox hooked up down there i don't have tv down there so i can go ahead and just put this you know down there bam be on the floor chilling you know whatever or on the couch chilling and then have this set up and play my xbox it's not really that small of a screen. Now, I know you would expect this to be like, oh, well, it's such a small screen. How do you play Xbox on it? Surprisingly enough, it's actually not that small of a screen. Uh, you would think it is, but it actually really isn't that big of a deal. Um, it's actually a pretty good size, I will say. So I have no issue with playing Xbox on this screen. Even if you do play it like in, like I said before, in phone mode, in tent or in tent mode or in phone mode, just like this, it still is a pretty decent screen and you get a lot, um, you got a real, a lot of real estate, uh, to play off of. So nonetheless, that of course is a game pass and in my opinion, amazing feature to have. Now I will say one thing. Yes, not every single application is, you know, ready to go for the Surface Duo. And we're not going to see, you know, uh, different developers really make applications for this Duo until the Duo 2 comes out. The reason why is because Duo 1 was considered a failure. And because it's considered a failure, companies and different developers are just not looking at this device in the correct light. They're not looking at this as something that you they want to go ahead and make money off of. They're more focused on the great demand for the normal devices like the iPhones and stuff like that. Because of that, though, because not many companies are looking at it, I think this even pushes more for the Surface Duo 2, how they're going to go ahead and make this even more advanced and more, you know, customizable. But I will say one thing, the dual screens is something day one you want to take advantage of. And there is different applications, like different launchers uh, that you can go ahead and run. We made a video yesterday about these, but it's like Windows 10 launcher and Windows 11 launcher. Yes, there is a Windows 11 launcher for this. Uh, it's 
an application in the Play Store. Obviously, it's not, you know, not the greatest when it comes to uh, how it's actually made. You do have to go ahead and spend money on it. But if you do go ahead and spend money, it's all good. Um, let me see. Let me try to go ahead and launch this Windows 10 version. I think I changed the theme, so it's a little bit uh, sketchy, sketched out right now. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can actually get this to launch. Um, true. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, because it looks like it actually deleted itself. So that's actually, wait, hang on. Let me actually, oh, there we go. I should be able to launch it right here. Apply. Uh, let's do that. And there we go. All right. Awesome. I thought for a second I wasn't going to be able to. I thought it deleted itself, but we're all good. Bam. So just like that, like always, and I let me see if I can actually fix this. There we go. Uh, and just like that, Windows 10 on this Surface Duo. So again, not, you know, as updated with features and stuff like that as you would want to see but this just opens up pandora's box and that's what i love about this device and what i think really adds to this device is pandora's box is endless with this device a normal phone you have one screen that's pretty much it no you know no big deal at all but with this phone you have so much you can do so much you can adventure into that it just adds so much into the idea that this phone is endless and that's another reason why i absolutely love this phone and it's funny because a lot of people complain about the hardware. I'm sorry, the software, right? I have no issue with the software to this device. Uh, day one, first week of this device, I had a couple issues. But since then, it really has been just absolutely amazing and has gone away from any kind of issues. Uh, with me personally, like I said, I know everyone has their... The next thing I will say that is really awesome in this device is actually using maps. Now, if you go ahead and get a correct car mount for your car, you can actually go ahead and have it really set up correctly for your car. And using GPS on this device can be hit or miss if you are using it in phone mode. When I use it in phone mode in a, with my whole show my car, it absolutely destroys it because it resets the phone every 10 seconds. Uh, main reason why is because, again, you have to get a holster that control that holds it from the very top to the very bottom. It cannot be holding it in phone mode. If you use it in phone mode while you're in your car, you're going to reset your phone 100,000 times and you're going to get ticked off. So, nonetheless, though, if you do go ahead and use it in the correct mode, which is full screen mode, you can go ahead and holster this to your car and you're able to go ahead and have some really amazing GPS in your car. I absolutely love this. Once I got the correct phone holder for this device, I was able to go ahead and actually have it like this as you guys can see and it's absolutely amazing You're able to go ahead and see you know so much more detail of what turns you have to have coming up It's a bigger screen. It's literally if you have an older car like myself It's literally a just absolute delight because you can see exactly where you need to go And there's no issue at all. I know I'm gonna get the comment. I have no issue looking at an iPhone with that same concept Okay, but until you see this device and you have this device in your car and you're actually looking at GPS is a lot it's a lot different. You kind of learn that really quickly. But I will say that the really cool functionality to this is, let's say, for example, you don't want to go ahead and have it full screen. Like I said, you could have it in phone mode. As long as you have the correct holster, you're fine. But what I love about it is you can have on one screen GPS, right? And then on the other screen, let me go ahead and open back up GPS. And on the other screen here, you can actually have Apple Music playing. So just like that, you can have Apple Music playing on one screen. Go ahead and just choose whatever Apple Music you want to play. And the other screen, you have your GPS. Now you can control your music while looking at your GPS exact same time. And it's like white in front of you. No issue at all. I absolutely love that. Now, if you currently are, do have an iPhone, guess what? You have to go close, oh, not close out of it, but switch from one app to the other app to go ahead and control your music. Go back to your maps, go back to your maps, control your music. And it's just so much easier having two screens at one time, you know, both of them up, both of them going ahead and giving you what you need. It just adds so much more to the phone, in my opinion. And I absolutely love that fact. So again, you know, just having the dual screens, having the ability to, you know, be in your car and not have to worry about switching screens. Cause I'll say one thing, you should never be touching your phone while you're driving. Uh, but you know, if it's just simply, you know, oh, click music, that's it. Don't ever text and drive. And you know, if you're switching between screens on your phone, that's I'm not that's not texting and driving, but that's definitely very distracting, right? So this lets you be able to have it up already 
and if you what I recommend doing is creating a playlist on this device and if you need to hit you know next on the playlist no big deal it doesn't take much time at all and it doesn't distract you much at all just go next and then bam you just still driving no issue at all so it helps you out in that category and that's what another reason why I absolutely love this device for that reason yep